purpose of this video is to give a little clarification if you're thinking about a high bike. As far as the battery charging goes, battery removal, and battery indicator. I'm just going to go over a couple pros and cons, kind of go over the whole battery and charging, maybe give a little better clarification on how to charge the battery in a high bike. Now if you want to remove the battery, you're going to need the key provided. You simply place it in here, turn it clockwise, and the battery is going to rotate right out of the bike frame. And then to reinstall the battery, just as simple, turn the key, locks the battery in place. There is a battery level indicator right in the center of the battery. Simply push right here and it will tell you the charge of the battery. There's also another area on the display of the handlebars that tells you the battery display as well. Now this high bike has the Yamaha drive, so it comes with a Yamaha charger. As far as charge cord length, uh, the length of this charge cord is actually 9 feet long. So if you're going to charge this in your garage, you probably have an outlet nearby. Because of this long charge cord, it shouldn't be a problem charging the battery while it's still right on the bike. Now this is a 4 amp charger. If the battery is pretty much dead, it's usually going to charge in under 4 hours. And here is what the end of the charge cord looks like. And this cord is going to go on the port and it's kind of got a spring loaded mechanism in order to lock itself in place. Now the charge port on the battery is this rubber dust cover. You want to make sure that this always stays in place and that you don't get dust and debris inside this charge port. Now if you look at the charge cord, it has an arrow right here, and you're going to line that arrow up with the arrow on the battery. Simply lift the dust cover out of the way, line the two arrows up, and it will lock securely in place. And now just plug in the charger to a household outlet. And in just a few hours, your bike is going to be fully charged and ready to ride again. You'll actually see the charge indicators light up from empty to full. And once it gets to full, it will be a solid red and your charger will automatically shut off. I'll be doing some more videos as far as battery life uh, with the off-road mountain biking. I'll take the GoPro along with me and kind of show you guys how many miles I can get on the trails I ride on a full battery charge. This high bike has been a, a great bike for me. I think if anybody buys one, you, you'd uh, really appreciate it. Hope you found this video helpful and informational, and thanks for watching.